guys, my name is Alyssa Hershey and I'm a private instructor at REW Music. I teach private French horn and beginning trumpet lessons. So today I'm going to talk to you all about how to create a stopped sound on the horn. So if you don't know what stopped horn is, it's something that's very unique to the horn. It's something that only we can do um, and it can be created uh, by just using your hand. So other instruments can use mutes to affect the sounds of their instruments and horns can use mutes too actually but this really cool technique called stopping is really great because it's a huge part of our heritage it's um, how people used to play the horn before valves were created and um, it's a wonderful technique that can create a very mysterious and uh, sometimes edgy sound to your music and it's so fun, it's a lot of fun, and it's one of the great perks of being a horn player. So, um, we're going to just dive right into how to, do, how to do that. So, to do a stopped horn, you have your hand in the bell, like normal, like this, and then you completely close off the sound by forming your hand into a sort of fist inside the bell. Now, I know you can't really see, but I'm going to pull it out and show you. Um, and so the goal here is that you want to fully stop the horn, um, stop the air coming out of the horn um, by using your hands and your fingers and things like that. So I form my fingers to the inside of the bell and it kind of looks like this. And as you can see, my knuckles are all pretty red. Um, it actually does hurt a little bit. <laughs> um, but the point of that is to really jam your hand in um, so that you can really stop the flow of the air coming out. Um, otherwise, it doesn't quite get that buzziness that we're looking for. Um, if you let too much air escape, it it's kind of this in-between sound. So um, that's the main thing that you do. One trick is that I pull my elbow into my side so that I can like use the palm of my hand to catch any air that's coming out. So again, fully stopping it, just like the name, just like the name describes. Um, so this is playing the horn normally without stopping it. <laughs> great buzziness that comes out and now I used a lot more air to just make that the same um, the same dynamic level just as a as a side note so now I'm going to show you the difference if you let some air out if you don't maybe stop the horn fully with your hand versus stopping it fully so this is stopped fully I'm going to go back and forth <laughs> between that it's um, really quite dramatic and that was just letting just a little bit of air slip out so those are my tips and tricks for how to play the horn stopped um, I hope you are able to mess around uh, with this technique and really perfect it and show off for all your friends who don't play the French horn and who don't get to have the fun of playing stopped um, again I hope that you are interested in maybe taking a lesson at REW um, from me or from any other of our talented instructors. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.